everyone, today we're diving into the world of an artist who's not just a rapper and producer, but a true cultural phenomenon. Yep, you guessed it. We're talking about the one and only Kanye West, as well as his luxurious properties. From his early days crafting beats for hip-hop icons to his meteoric rise as a solo artist, Kanye West has continually pushed the envelope, challenging conventions and reshaping the landscape of contemporary music. His albums are a journey through introspection, a societal critique, and epic creativity. And they've received both praise and critics, but also he's earned a legion of devoted fans. Kanye Omari West was born in 1977 in Douglasville, Georgia. When his parents divorced, West and his mother moved to Chicago in 1980 when he was just three years old. After some years, his mother Donda West happily paid for the recording of his first song in a basement. It was far from ideal, but Kanye was excited to record. In the initial stages of his career, he showcased his remarkable production skills by contributing to Jermaine Dupri's album Life in 1472. He later moved to the New York City area, gaining prominence through his noteworthy production work for Rockefeller Records. His significant contributions were seen on rapper Jay-Z's album Blueprint in 2001, solidifying his reputation in the music industry. And it was only up from there as Kanye gained more and more success emerging as a solo artist. Alright, let's talk about a moment that had everyone buzzing back in 2009. Kanye, known for his outspoken nature, found himself in a bit of hot water. During the MTV Video Music Awards, when Taylor Swift was about to accept her award, Kanye stormed the stage, proclaiming that Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I'm really happy for you, I'm let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Cue the internet going wild. Video clips spread like crazy and Kanye went from chart-topping artist to media villain in a flash. But that's not the end of the story. Let's fast forward to the aftermath of this infamous incident. That brashness that got Kanye into some trouble, well, turns out it fueled one of the most triumphant comebacks in music history. In 2010, after apologies and fixing up his image, Kanye dropped My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which was a game changer. This album wasn't only music, it was a complex exploration of success and celebrity. Kanye took us on a journey through his mind, tackling the highs and lows of fame in a way only he could. In February 2015, Kanye West also debuted his Adida line, The Season 1. While Kim Kardashian was still navigating the legalities of her former marriage, sparks began to fly between Kanye and Kim. Interestingly, they were no strangers, their friendship had deep roots, and they decided to take the plunge into a romance. But let's switch gears a bit and talk about the next chapter in Kanye's life, fatherhood. In June 2013, Northwest made her grand entrance into the world as the first child of the power couple, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Four months after the arrival of their daughter North, Kim and Kanye decided it was time to tie the knot. On Kim's 33rd birthday, Kanye orchestrated an extravagant engagement that set the bar high for romantic gestures. Following a week-long celebration in Paris, reality star Kim and rapper Kanye didn't just quietly tie the knot, they made it a grand affair in Florence, Italy in 2014. In the most recent chapters of their journey, after nearly seven years of marriage and more children, it seems that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's relationship is coming to a close. The pair had a notably challenging 2020 and they've divorced. All that talk about Kanye's background and his love life, but now let's move on to Kanye's real estate. In late September 2021, reports surfaced that Kanye had acquired an oceanfront house in Malibu, designed by Tadeo Ando, for about $57 million. Interestingly enough, before Kanye's purchase, the mansion was initially listed at an even higher price, closer to $75 million. Kanye's Malibu mansion serves as a metaphor for the artist himself. Designed by Tadeo Ando, the beachside house was initially a symbol of artistic ingenuity, much like Kanye. However, both the man and his 4,000 square foot Malibu home have experienced a decline from the inside out. Let's take a journey back in time to when Kanye purchased the home. Witnessing 
its deterioration over the past few years. Kanye initiated substantial remodelings for his Malibu residence, bringing in contractors to oversee these extensive renos. However, as time progressed, it became clear that these renovations were destined to remain incomplete, maybe even indefinitely. By the summer of 2022, the rapper's Malibu house underwent a significant transformation, but not in the way one might expect. Instead of being a polished masterpiece, the mansion was left entirely gutted and barren, with repairs dragging on without a clear resolution in sight. The floor-to-ceiling windows facing the water had long been removed, leaving the rear of the building entirely open to the elements. It seems like Kanye West sought inspiration from the renowned Chief Goldstein residence, a location featured in several movies like Charlie's Angels and The Big Lebowski. Kanye paid a visit to James Goldstein's iconic residence known for its distinctive design. During his time there, Kanye reportedly paid attention to every detail, expressing admiration for the media room, being captivated by the decks, and even playfully taking his shoes for a swim because, well, he's Kanye. Selling Sunset star Jason Oppenheim, whose brokerage is handling the listing, shared with people that Kanye West removed the interiors of the home. As a result, the asking price for the property reflects the cost of installing new finishes. The photos on the listing showcase the residence in its original state before Kanye West made his alterations. The house boasts 4,000 square feet of interior space and around 1,500 square feet of outdoor living areas. Jason Oppenheim expressed his privilege in selling a home designed by the renowned architect Ando, who's crafted fewer than 20 homes in the US, one of which is Beyonce and Jay-Z's mega mansion. According to Oppenheim, the Malibu Road location of the property is among the most desirable in the world. He emphasizes the value of the home, describing it as a unique home for a unique and discerning buyer, with its true worth lying in its architectural structure. The minimalist interior, consistent with Ando's style, is meant to let the architecture speak louder than the finishes. The listing highlights the home's construction materials, consisting of approximately 1,200 tons of concrete, 200 tons of steel reinforcement, and 12 massive pylons driven more than 60 feet into the sand. In the ever-evolving saga of Kanye West and his homes, it's clear that the narrative goes beyond the walls of his decomposing multi-million dollar mansion. While the Malibu residence undergoes its own transformation, Kanye and his new wife Bianca Sensori haven't found themselves without a luxury roof over their head, even staying at the upscale Nobu Ryokan in Malibu. We'll just have to stay tuned for the next chapter to unfold. But while well, today's video will wrap up, before you go, answer this question for me. Do you think Kanye's Malibu home will ever be sold in the state it is now? Let me know in the comments below what the future holds for this property. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!